Your mission, Rikori, should you choose to accept it, is to get into the minds of children, gain access to their brains, and fill it with vast amounts of knowledge, including book smarts, life skills, respect, manners, social skills, emotional intelligence, and sometimes even the basics, like using the bathroom and loading the bus. You have exactly 173 days to complete this mission, at which point a new batch of recruits will arrive with the exact same directives. The race is on. The clock is ticking. It is our desire to be a leader in public education in central Minnesota. Use technology to help solve the corruption that sneaks into your realm. Be prepared. Have all the equipment ready to go, even masks if you need them. Stay focused. No matter how dangerous the mission, we're dealing with kids' futures here. Be committed and take risks to save the world, one Spartan at a time. We want the best. Friends, it's go time. Hello, we're in Mr. Griffith's eighth grade science classroom. And today, Mr. Griffith, what are your kids doing? We're working on some Bunsen burner skills. Um, learn how to light them properly and adjust them so they have good flames. Um, it's a skill that they uh, may need as they go through high school or college. With a lot of high school teachers or college teachers kind of expect them how to use. Okay. Within your experiment today, Mr. Griffith, they've got three test tubes that they put water in. What's the purpose of that? They've got eight milliliters in the test tubes and they're uh, heating up using different parts of the flame to see which part of the flame heats up the water the fastest. So they're timing that and, uh, and measuring the uh, the efficiency of the flame, which is the hottest, best part of the flame to use. Awesome. Thank you very much. Girls, what are you doing today? Learning how to use a Bunsen burner. Why would you learn how to do a, use a Bunsen burner? Why is that important? For labs. Tell us about that. Well, they need to get the outer cone. And the... Inner cone. Yes. Awesome. Good job. Guys, we're using the Bunsen burner today. What are you doing with that? Um, well, we're trying to boil these um, this water in here and see how long it takes to uh, boil in here. Awesome. Thank you. It's great to see Mr. Griffith exploring science with his kids as they learn the skill of using a Bunsen burner. Let's go find out what the high school kids are doing today as they explore the world of manufacturing. Hello, we are at Ricori uh, Middle School, High School, and we're with uh, Assistant Vice Principal, uh, Mr. Getter. Mr. Getter, down in the gymnasium today, we have Manufacturing Day going on. Tell us a little bit about Manufacturing Day. Uh, what Manufacturing Day was here at, uh, at the Secondary Building at Ricori today is we had 11 different manufacturers from around the area came in, set up a booth, and we attempted to get about 600 of our 800 students I'm down to visit these manufacturers. Uh, we tried to focus on our 10th through 12th years to go down. They each had about 30 minutes to go up and ask questions, um, visit with the manufacturers, a little bit of um, the, the, who they are, what they do, and a little bit about employment at these different places. Uh, this started, Scott Pisick from Cold Spring reached out. Uh, he didn't really reach out, I guess, through some conversation. They've had some manufacturing days that Cold Spring has been involved in in the Becker Big Lake uh, area. They have one at Becker High School where Big Lake comes as well. And they do the same type of thing there as we did here. So we thought it'd be kind of neat if we could, if we could bring that here and show kind of show our students what some of the different manufacturing businesses are here in the area that they may not know about. And even, even for me being here 20 years, uh, some of them that are as close as Payne's, Painesville and Avon, I learned a little bit about this. It's a pretty, pretty neat experience for the kids and as well as a, a kind of a fun thing for the manufacturers that came in as well. The manufacturers in the area really want kids that have a background in STEM. What is STEM and how is that changing really the landscape of careers across not only central Minnesota but really uh, our nation and the world? Well, with the science, technology, engineering, and math, the STEM classes, um, these are businesses that um, maybe in the years past they haven't needed uh, the education maybe that they do today, but with, with technology as it is, 
with the workforce, uh, some of the students that, or, or young people, employees that these uh, different manufacturers are getting, are ones that may have taken some of these these different areas in high school, or a lot of them through uh, like St. Cloud Technical College, Alexandria Tech, some of those different schools, or even St. Cloud State with uh, with the different programs that they have. Um, so bringing students in uh, with the education and knowledge to uh, to continue to take their businesses um, to different levels, to continue to compete with with other businesses in the area, or in like uh, Cold Springs case, uh, businesses across the globe because they're competing internationally with different companies to, to produce the same amount or more for the same prices. Looks like we've got a lot of awesome things going on here at the Recorey School District. Let's go down to the gymnasium and see what's going on with Recorey Manufacturing Day. Thank you, Mr. Getter, for showing us the nuts and bolts of Manufacturing Day at Recorey 2018. Let's go in the gymnasium right now and take a peek to see what's going on.